Have you ever been on autopilot where you're lost in your thoughts and not aware of your surroundings? As distraction is becoming more and more commonplace in our busy world, it's also becoming more and more difficult for people to be in the present moment and that can be harmful to our well-being. Hi, my name is Carla Belzer and I'm a family life educator with the University of Illinois Extension. In today's moment for mental health, we're going to experience a stop technique that can help you diffuse stress in the moment. Many adults experience autopilot moments on a daily basis. When we're distracted by our thoughts, our worries, our cares, or even our concerns, our stress level can rise. Mindfulness is focusing the mind on the present moment without judgment. Prominent mindfulness researcher Ellen Langer once said that mindfulness is an active process of noticing new things, letting go of preconceived mindsets, and then acting on new observations. As we work to stop our busy mind, we can take an active role in reducing our stress and respond rather than react to the situations of life. The stop technique is a wonderful way to create a mindful pause in your day. By creating space to stop, observe, and respond, we can return to the present moment, gain perspective, and even determine the best action to take in many situations. Using the stop technique throughout your day, or even just when you start to feel your stress level rise, takes us off autopilot and improves our ability to check in with our thoughts, our feelings, and our behavior. This technique can be very helpful in returning us to the present moment so we can consider all of our options and resources with clarity, which often makes us feel better. If you notice your mind is racing due to stress or that you're on autopilot, try to stop. S in stop stands for stop what you're doing, taking a momentary pause. T stands for take a breath. This allows us to reconnect with our breath. Be sure to breathe normally and naturally and try to follow your breath coming in and out of your body. Turn your attention to how your breath feels rising and falling in your chest or even in your abdomen. O means observe. Observe what is happening in your thoughts, your feelings, and even your emotions. And as you notice any present emotions, simply name them, acknowledge them. Also be sure to take note of your body position and your posture. P stands for proceed mindfully. Using the information that you gained during this check-in, proceed with mindfulness. You may choose to return to whatever you were doing before you stopped, or you may move forward with something different, a new activity. As you occasionally remind yourself to stop during your day, you can learn a lot about what's going on both in you and around you. You may notice that you are carrying tension in a certain area of your body, that you're engaging in negative self-talk, or maybe even that you're experiencing a certain emotion. The more you stop during your day, the more connected you are with reality and the easier it is for you to disengage your autopilot. As you work towards incorporating more stopping into your day, also increase your curiosity and your openness about where you can incorporate a stop. Maybe it's when you wake up. Perhaps it's when you're sitting at a stoplight or washing dishes, or even while you are at work. The more you stop during your day, again, the more connected you are. If you're having difficulty finding a stopping point in your day, you could also set a timer on your smartphone, effectively reminding you to stop. What would your life be like in the coming days, weeks, and even months if you started stopping more. As we stop more, we are better able to gain perspective and thoughtfully respond rather than just react. Consider using this quick technique the next time you need to de-stress. 
I hope that you join us again for another moment of mental health.